Hey guys, so tonight we're actually gonna make cod. Um, Nick is in his week of cut to get ready for his Olympic lifting um, meet that he has this weekend. So I was trying to think, okay, what can I make? He, he was actually open to the idea of fish, which unless it's scallops, he's pretty much not interested. So we thought we would try cod. Um, and I truly just Google searched baked cod to try to come up with some ideas of something different to do. So I'm, I'm experimenting completely, so we'll see whether or not this works out. But what we're gonna make tonight is we're gonna take cod and we're gonna actually bake it. It's supposed to be foil packets, individually wrapped, but I'm gonna do them all in a single pan. So what I've done is I've sprayed my casserole pan, just, I typically use this coconut oil uh, spray that we use. And so we've got six uh, cod fillets. They're probably ranking anywhere from six to eight ounces. Um, I've got a, a lemon sliced really thin and I've got some sliced onions. So all we're going to do is we're going to basically put in the bottom of this pan all of these onions. And so the idea is number one to keep the fish off the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick and it can kind of soak through. But it's going to give it a little more flavor um, as well as we can eat the onions, you know, as a part of what we're going to have for dinner. Um, because we're trying to reduce carbs, because how many pounds do you have to cut? You started with 15 pounds on this weekend, this past Sunday, weekend, yep. right? So where are we at now? Sunday, I was 15 over. Today, I'm 10 over. Okay. So what we're doing is we're going to reduce the carbohydrates. This is not going to be like a body fat reduction. Right. This is going to be a water cut. We'll just pull the water out of the body. We'll reduce some of the calories. Um, and... Like for this instance, so people know, I will get down to 178 for about, what, 30 minutes. As long as whatever it takes away, and then, yeah, you might be on the treadmill for an hour before you cut, and then as soon as you're weighed in, you'll start eating again. So, yeah, totally, it's not a definite, like, long-term something you're going to want to do. Um, but it might give you an idea of something you could do, and you could take this dish, and you could add, we're going to do it with roasted, oh, I guess I already have them in the oven, roasted broccoli and cauliflower. Um, you could add a starch along with that rice, potatoes, whatever, to make it kind of full balance. But this would be a, a low carb, low carb, fairly low fat, but super high protein dinner. So you can see I've got all of these items in here. And the, the thing about this is you're going to want to have your pieces of cod to be similar in thickness and size because so that it all cooks together and you don't get pieces of it that get way overcooked or something that doesn't get cooked at all. So I've got all the cod in here. I'm just taking these lemon slices that I've sliced really thin. And I don't know if you can see those from as far back as what you are. And I'm just gonna kind of layer these on here. And again, just wanna be able to add a little bit of flavor to what we're doing. Sorry, I'm gonna wash my hands. So I've taken these fillets of cod. The next thing I'm gonna go through, I've, I've got a stick of butter. <clears throat> This is truly going to be the only fat we're adding to this dish. And I'm going to take really fairly thin slices and just kind of lay them over and, yeah, lay them over the cod. And as this melts, it will just kind of melt into it, add a little more depth of flavor, and it will add a little bit of fat to the dish and it'll probably also help with it sticking. So I think we talked about cod before, and I want to say about four ounces of cod is about as lean as a chicken breast. So you're looking at anywhere from 20 to 25 grams of protein for every four to five ounces of meat that you're using. So the next thing I'm going to add is I just have this Italian herb mix. The recipe that I was looking at just said any blend of herbs. This has happened to be one that I have. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top. And again, I think you can be fairly generous in what you put on here. But we do need to add some salt because there's no salt in this dish right now and we wanna be able to add a little bit of salt. I'm a huge fan of garlic salt. So we're gonna wanna add garlic salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top. When we post the recipe, I'll give more finite measurements because actually what will happen is once we eat this, I'll figure out do I have enough of things or not enough of things, and then we'll, modif we'll modify it based on that. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just cover this in foil. Um, again, the original instructions were for individual foil packets using frozen cod. This cod is actually fresh, 
and I'm doing it all together rather than individual foil packets. So I'll play around with the timing and then I'll make sure when we post the recipe that I post the actual cooking time. So we'll be back in a little bit and show you what it looks like. So I cook these about, about 20 minutes. If you want to get closer, Nick, you can see. I, I just want to show you. So the best thing to look at, you can see that it's starting to flake apart. That's one indication that it's done. You also want to kind of stick your fork into the thickest filet. If it goes through smoothly, then it's done. If you feel any resistance, then that means it's not done. So I'll go ahead and serve this up and obviously you're not gonna eat the lemons, but I'm just gonna give Nick like probably as much of this as he's gonna eat tonight. I'm sure he'll have probably more than that. And then I, like I said, I roasted some, just some uh, cauliflower and broccoli, a little bit of olive oil, pepper and garlic salt um, in the oven. and. I think we've obviously shown this before, maybe even with a little lemon on the side. So again, if you're looking for a lighter meal, the cod is a really good option. A lot of protein, very low fat, and super easy to make. You can do a lot of things with it. It's like an open canvas. So I hope you like it.